Okay, here we have Delirium Tremens. This is another one of those uh, wacky ass Belgian beers. As you can see, uh, it's got one of the most unique and I'd say attractive bottle designs I've ever seen. I mean, it just, it's just an eye, it's an eye catcher. Although, uh, with the pink elephants and uh, the way the bottle has been painted, this sort of uh, French vanilla type color, you're almost wondering if you're going to be drinking candy or something. Okay, so uh, it's 8.7% alcohol, and they call it an extra strong. And yeah, that's, that's getting up there for Belgian. That's getting up there for a Belgian beer. Okay, and as you can see, it's got the uh, nice foil on the top, like a lot of Belgian beers seem to do these days. Makes it look like a bottle of wine or champagne or some bullshit like that. Ooh. Gotta get my glass real quick here. She's foaming. I think I might have uh, got jostled on the car ride here. Ooh, look at that head. Holy crap. There's some reaction there. Yeah, this is a uh, triple fermented. So it's supposed to give you more of a strong golden blonde Belgian beer color with a very creamy head. Uh, I wouldn't say the head's all that creamy, but uh, and I know my creamy heads. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the smell, the aroma, not. Not that inviting, really. Uh, it's got sort of an off kind of vinegary smell to me. Just slight, though. Like, nothing incredibly imposing or anything. But, uh... Okay, so let's see what we got here. I think the whole reasoning behind this thing is it's supposed to make you uh, hallucinate or something like that. At least that's their marketing gimmick anyway, by the looks of things. Yeah, it's got kind of a it's got kind of a really bitter almost vinegary aftertaste to it, just slightly though. Just slightly. It's definitely not something I drink all the time. Uh I can see myself getting sick of it really quick. Like literally and you know, just uh getting sick of the taste. But uh yeah, with this kind of high alcohol percentage, this is one of those beers that you want to maybe uh, use to start off your night, or maybe top it off. But probably you probably don't want in between. <sighs> yeah, not not the greatest. It's very dry, very yeah. Yeah, not the greatest. It's worth checking out, but it's not exactly, you know, the mind-blowing thing. I'm not seeing any of the pink elephants on the bottle yet. Let's put it that way, okay. So, I give it about a 2 out of 5, honestly. Uh, kind of... The bottle's better than the beer, let's put it that way. Yeah, so, Delirium Tremens, 2 out of 5.